doing some work on mineries. This time it's about the land next to the track. I'm just putting down a, a base coat really of uh, black paint. And then what I've started to do at the base of the retaining wall is to put in some light sort of scenic work. Some grass, some small sort of vegetation growth. I don't think there'd be much because you're close to the railway. The only area I've actually uh, put quite a bit round is the water tower here. Um, primarily because I looked at a photo on the internet and there was a water tower which was exactly the same as this one in terms of the base. It was all the ballast and then at the back of it there was a lot of vegetation so I've, I've copied that. Just really thinking about this area around here, this is where the uh, the scenic effects end and the track actually turns the corner to go into the fiddle yard. So I've, I've got a number of choices, I mean I can do what I did originally, and that was just to put up a plain black piece of uh, ply, lightweight ply, with a hole in, which the train disappears through, or to do some sort of scenic effect probably another road bridge in a different sort of style to the one I've got down here. To make the road bridge I've drawn a shape on some hardboard and then I've cut the shape out with the Stanley knife. The road bridge I've covered with stone paper which matches the retaining wall at the side of Mineries. Let's have a look at it. There we are. You can see I've put some additional relief on it with some balsa strips which I'll cover later with some stone paper and I've also created an arch effect using some plastic which has been cut from an old uh, bridge model that I had. So here's the road bridge in place and I'm planning to build it up like this. So you'll have the road bridge, the cardboard section which goes across between the Rice Krispie packets, that's going to be raised up and then it will swing round here and what I'll do around this area here is I'll slope that in grade that round here there'll be a wing wall coming off the bridge to support the um, embankment where the road runs at the back of the bridge that will actually just be um, another piece of back scene which will uh, rise quite high to meet the back scene that I've got running across the rear of the layout. It's just a plain back scene which I've painted to represent sky. So the uh, the eyes drawn really to the uh, the railway and the trains on it, rather than the uh, the detail on any back I've scene. Just cut the wing wall, so it's going to uh, run across there, and then. I'm going to grade the bank so it's in line with the wing wall so there's a slight slope here to uh, bring it round and here's the wing wall with the brick paper glued to it it will have some coping stones running down the, uh, the top and also the parapet on the bridge will have similar just trying to get levels and uh, the look of it by using some old bits of card. Uh, need to play around with this just to get it to blend in. I've put the back scene in for the road bridge and I've also added a support strip down the edge of the board so that when the corner by the end of the road bridge is being completed there'll be some support for any scenic work that I do. I'll just show you how the bridge sections now all assemble against the bridge back scene. First of all we've got the serial packets carrying the roadway. They go in like this. Then I've got the road bridge front itself and this is a push fit between the serial packets and the retaining wall and that goes in as you can see like that. And you've got the road bridge coming out. This area here will need to have more road on it. The scenic work's actually going to be between the, the wing wall of the bridge 
and this edge along here. I've taken a small piece of hardboard, sort of curved it round and then I've just slightly tacked it into the top of this uh, edge here. Propped up the end of the hardboard with a strip of balsa and for the gap underneath I've cut a card template. Here is the card template. I've cut some folding strips so with these they will actually glue along the edge here and hold the card in place. Cardboard former in place and the PVA glue as you can see has been applied and it's setting. I'm just showing you the completed road bridge and wing wall together with the main structure for the landscaping effect which I'll be doing next. To make the cliff face I used a mixture of Hydrocal which is a, a plaster type mix that you can buy made by Woodland Scenics and some PVA and then I've uh, spread that over the card back in template. <coughs> I spread that over the card template and then I've worked it with a brush to get the desired ridges and uh, aspects of the cliff face. And I'm just applying a very light coat to get the effect that I want. I'm trying to go for a sandstone effect. I find the way to do it is to water down the acrylic paint quite a lot and then just dab it from the top and let it run into all the cracks and crevices on the uh, face of the cliff. You can see it, it's taken and it's it's just running down. Doing it more around here. But just get it nice and watery. And you can see it's it's running into all the uh, all the areas that you need. Do a bit over here, you can see that. This bit here, you can just see it's, it's just running in quite easily. Any bits that it doesn't get, just give it a, a little dab with the brush. Cliff faces are now all painted up. Uh, it might need another coat because the paint does dry fairly lightly on a white background where it's absorbed very quickly on the first coat. So I'll just start dribbling in some of the uh, wash that represents the soil that's been uh, carried down the cliff face by, uh, by the weather. So I've done the runs of the darker colour. So the cliff face is now really finished apart from any vegetation that I put on it. Mineries is based in the Midlands and the Midlands does have outcrops of sandstone. This is why I've used that type of colour scheme on the cliff face. I've been spending some time doing some detailing on mineries. You also see I've been working on the area at the base of the coal stage where there are some remnants of coal which have dropped from when the bunkers have been filled on the engines and there's also a significant amount of ash. I've achieved this by using a cigar which a friend of mine left behind and I've added some real ash pieces to the uh, track bed to, uh, to get the effect. I've also been adding some light vegetation around the track and I've completed this now. It's along the base of the retaining wall all the way up to the bridge which I've made. This is now all dried off and complete. You can see the, if I bring it in close, you can see the rock face, the sandstone rock face. That's now finished. Vehicles are now coming over the road bridge. We've got a Pickford's lorry with a consignment of furniture for someone who's moving to mineries. We've also got a steeple jack who's come all the way from the northwest from Bolton, and you can see he's here in his brightly coloured Land Rover. 
somebody by the name of F. Dibner. So he's working on the church steeple, which is some way distant from Minories. There's still some detailing to do, hedges, fences and so I've on. A little bit of detailing on the signal box. I've renamed it. It's now Minories North, number one box. And I've also added in a walkway by the signal box, so it's possible to get from each side of the track to and from the box. I've also added some crew members to the 1F so you can see there they're in the cab driving the 1F. This is the first time an engine's gone through the completed scenic brake so it falls to the 1F to do that. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. More to follow.